Why Good Leaders Make You Feel Safe In his speech, Simon Sinek aims to answer the question of what qualities of a leader make people feel safe. He tells of a case where a captain rescuing a wounded soldier hugged and kissed him. In discussing the motives behind the rescuer's behavior, Sinek concludes that the act was motivated by feelings nurtured in a supportive, well-ordered society. People can show their best qualities, including sacrifice when they know they will be treated in the same way. Such behavior can be shaped under the guidance of a leader who sets the tone for society. Suppose the latter has shaped the wrong conditions for living. In that case, individuals are forced to expend their strength and energy defending themselves against each other and against the imperfections and errors of a system that could cause harm at any time. In the same way, the ancestors of men behaved in ancient times, when they were constantly surrounded by the danger of attacks by wild animals, bad weather conditions, and many other factors. Where there is room for fear and aggression, there can be no sense of trust and cooperation, which are essential to the successful development of society. This is why Sinek argues that good leaders will never sacrifice the safety of their people for profit. They are willing to do the opposite to allow members of society to feel part of a whole, within which everyone can count on help and understanding. To prove his point, he cites the example of Barry Wemmler, a company whose owner, in times of crisis, decided to keep his employees' jobs while giving them unpaid leave. As a good leader, the businessman made his choice in favor of people's well-being, which subsequently paid off economically. According to Sinek, this model of behavior, based primarily on trust and mutual responsibility, allows people to be confident that they will be helped and feel safe.